so this is very fine casting sand that um, you can cast metal into and it's a mixture of uh, sand and linseed um, so I've just packed that into this two-piece um, mold system ring mold system and um, basically you have to have a positive um, item that you're going to cast from to impress into the mold and then take it out to leave the void to cast the metal into so if we start off with um, going to cast this um, horse girl here and um, so the sand is packed in like that and the item uh, there are restrictions as to what sort of item you can cast it can't be too complicated or have undercuts um, otherwise you end up um, with an incomplete item basically we're making a little bit of an indentation here now you have to create a release between the two molds so not not very high tech but if talcum powder and then line up two lines of mould so they do it in exactly the same place each time and sprinkle a bit of this in pack it down a bit right hopefully we've packed that in tight enough and we can release that So now you see one half. So at this stage we have to do a little bit of tidying up. I'm actually going to take the positive out. Right, now at this point we've got to put in what's called risers. Um, if I was to just try and pour metal into this void without doing the risers, um, there would be nothing to draw the molten liquid through the void. So what we have to do is we've got to put holes through the uh, mould, through the void in different places to encourage the air to draw the metal through and go into every little crevice and I'll make a few rises at the side as well and then we've got to put the holes all the way through to the outside so that there's air that draws the liquid right uh, let's get that bit of dust away from the centre Right, so what should happen when I pour the liquid metal through is there should be smoke that comes out through there and I'll know that the liquid's being drawn through into every place in the mould. Right, so we place the moulds back together where the mark is. So the liquid, the liquid metal is going to be poured in through here. When it gets nice and warm in my workshop, I don't need any heating. Ah, voila. Okay, so what's happened is you can see the hot uh, metal has poured into the uh, mould and it's burnt that little area and we've ended up with a little horse girl with its sprues um, attached and its risers, that little bit I shall chop off and, um, and file it and turn it back into... Um, the original one, like that. 
So there's a finished horse girl um, in its entirety all polished up and uh, completed and there's a uh, one done in a similar way that's a dog girl and um, something else which is done in a very similar way as well as a bat um, the black area is silver but it's been oxidized I've only been a member of the guild for two years now in fact I'm coming up to the end of my associate membership um, so hopefully they'll have me as a full-blown member um, and, it, and it's a really good way of working with with other people in a exhibition way that um, can benefit everybody really uh, and it's a nice group to be part of